last video, I have the Finders Keepers Market, which is over the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of September. Um, and I have a lot of stuff that I need to make for it. So today is Wednesday. Um, I did a little bit of sewing yesterday, but I have three orders. Well, I had three orders um, that I needed to finish. I posted one of them. I have another one that's just finished here. I just need to iron it. Um, and then I have a third one that I need to do today. So really grateful for all of that, but it's kind of just put me behind on the other stuff that I wanted to do. Um, I have a lot of sewing that I need to finish today tomorrow, Friday, and then I'm just going to be sewing basically up until Thursday night. Um, and then with like next Thursday night, there's a lot that I wanted to get done, but I don't think that I'll have enough time to do the amount of, um, pieces that I wanted to do. So I'm just going to try and smash out as much as I possibly can. Tonight, I'm also going to go to Bunnings with my boyfriend and we're going to get some timber to make some clothing racks. I tried finding some online. There was one person um, on Etsy that makes them, but by the time I realized that I was doing this market, I kind of ran out of time to order it. So by the time that they would have made it and shipped it, I probably wouldn't get it in time. Um, and then there was a few other ones, but they were just a bit flimsy looking. So I wanted like a nice sturdy one. So we're gonna try and make our own. Worst case scenario, if we just don't make nice ones, then I'll probably just have to buy um, some ones from Kmart or something, which I don't really want to, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> and the linen lovers pants that I needed to do. I'm going to start on the Amari Bustiers now. I've only got the blue ones cut out, but I'm going to start on those. Um, and then after that, I'll do the Ava tops. Um, and then I would really like to go for a walk this afternoon because it's such a nice day um, and I haven't left the house yet. So I might do that at like three o'clock-ish. I'm going to try and work on that order that I have to do tonight um, because I don't think I'll have time to do it today. I still have to pattern make the um, skirt because I don't have that size that she's ordered pattern made already. I've only got the other sizes. Um, so I have to do that tonight. And then I have to do the tops as well. <laughs>
film too much. I did a little bit, but I kind of just wanted to knuckle down and get as much done as I possibly could yesterday. I also had to finish that order that I had. I stayed up last night sewing until about quarter past nine, 9.30. Um, so I'm a little bit tired, <laughs> but that's fine. I woke up early this morning and I finished off those April dresses that I started doing yesterday. So I have five of the um, mini ones in black. Um, I finished them. The only thing that I need to do is just put the um, strap that goes around this area and then just like um, tie knots in the ends of the other straps. I think I'm gonna start cutting some patterns for the rest of the April dresses that I wanna do. So I wanna do like three or four of the maxi dresses um, and then like four or five of the um, tops. So I'm just gonna do that in the black fabric. I've already got it set up there. And then I might start working on those today. Um, and then I have to pack my car this afternoon because I have your Monday tomorrow. Luckily I have my friend Kaya running it again. I think I've said this before, I'm not sure. But Kaya is gonna be doing it um, again for me this weekend, but she can only do it until 11 because then she has to go to her other job. Um, so that's fine. So I'll come back um, at 11 and um, continue the rest of the day so I'll at least have like three hours to come back and do some sewing which is better than nothing. Last Saturday when I did it I smashed out a fair bit of work I think I had like four hours um, to do stuff and I did like quite a bit which was good so be good to just do another three hours this Saturday. I don't know if I mentioned it on Tuesday I tried filming a lot but I just ended up being so sick in the afternoon I wanted to like have a late night then as well and like stay up and just do a lot of sewing but I ate some food and I literally had the worst pain ever like it was just so ridiculous how painful it was. I had to stop sewing at like I think it was like I think I had lunch at like one o'clock and then about like 2, 2.30, I started getting really bad stomach pains. And then I just couldn't do anything for the rest of the afternoon. I was just in tears, like I was in that much pain. Um, and then Wednesday, I was still in a little bit of pain, but not as bad. Um, but again, I still ended up having to stop sewing at like four o'clock in the afternoon just because I started getting really bad stomach pains again. And I just couldn't sit down. I had to be like getting up and moving around or I had to lie down. Like it was just really frustrating. So that kind of put me behind on a lot of what I wanted to get done, but that's fine. I am a little bit more stressed out now though than what I was at the start of the week because I was like, yeah, easy. I'll do some late nights, get everything smashed out. But yeah, now I'm a little bit behind schedule. Did end up changing my mind on how many pieces I was going to do of like other random bits and bobs. So I was originally going to have like majority of what I sell available, but I don't think that I'll be able to have enough time to do all of that. I'm going to do as much as I possibly can, but I'm going to try and do the ones that are my best sellers at the moment, rather than just trying to have like bits and bobs of everything. pile of straps that I have to get through like there's literally so many here that I need to do I have to sew them this way instead of just overlocking the edges along here and like 
so that they're like that and then just like flipping them inside out that's how I do them with the white ones but for some reason this black fabric just it doesn't do it that way I think it's just been washed differently so it's really annoying um, and this way takes me so much longer to do like it does look nice but it's just so annoying Is great of course someone's outside whippersnipping anyway um today's actually tuesday i didn't really film anything yesterday just because i was trying to smash out as much sewing as i possibly could um marcus built me my racks for me which is really good they turned out so nice um i might get him to make me a third one that's just a bit smaller or a sorry a fourth one that's a bit smaller um but i think those three might be okay I had an order come in on Friday night, so um, I finished that yesterday as well and I'm going to go to the post office now to post it and then when I come back I'm going to finish off all of my white April dresses, they're the ones that I have to do today, um, and then I'm going to get started on all of my like cotton pieces. I've fallen like so far behind from what I wanted to do, I've just kind of been slow with sewing which is really annoying. I think I just like thought that I would be able to get a lot more done in the time that I have but You are looking at a very tired girl. Stayed up until about 10.30 last night and then I went to bed. I started working on the cotton tree pieces, so I'm gonna finish those today um, and then just keep going with more of the 
cotton pieces that I have to do. Don't really have much else to say. I think that's about it. is all that I have left to do. This top, this dress, that's for my mum. Um, and then these two shorts. And then I just have to finish these three tops. And I just have to put the um, waistband sort of straps through here. But that is everything. That's my task for today. to bed again last night like 10 30 again i was so exhausted um i got as much done as i possibly could but i was literally just like i need to go to sleep um i look horrible <laughs> right now my eye bags are just uh, they don't look that bad on camera but this like they're bad in person um yeah i'm very extremely tired um and today is the last day for me to finish everything um i have pretty much everything done just have to finish those two shorts and then the top and dress that i'm doing for my mum um and then i just have to kind of finish putting the hour uh and then i just have to finish putting the isla top together i've got three of these that i just need to um put the straps through and then just do some final touches that is missing a piece as well so i need to sew that on great for what i've done pretty proud of it um i'm just hoping that also um this weekend goes really well um it's a really big market so i know that there'll be a lot of people there but i've never been so i don't know what to expect um but yeah i'm just I'm nervous now, I think, because it's tomorrow and I'm just a bit stressed out about it. I just counted all of the pieces that I've made, including um, the ones that I made for customers and like posted them out um, end of last week and start of this week. I've made 50 pieces of clothes in the last week and a half. Like... Here I am thinking that, oh my gosh, I haven't made enough, like thinking I've only made like maybe like 15 to 20 max, but I've made 50 pieces of clothes in a very short amount of time. Normally each week when I do like the markets, I make maybe up to 10, maybe 15. It depends on what the item is or um, how quickly I can make it. But yeah, it's normally like 10, sometimes like five, depends on how busy I am um, that week. But yeah, 50 in about a week and a half. That's a lot. 
especially for one person because I did all of that so even though I was kind of like oh not feeling too great that I hadn't made enough like I have and I feel a lot better now that I've counted it all so this has the majority of everything that I've made in it um in this past week and a half I still have to iron a lot of them and put the hang tags on them but that's pretty much 50 pieces of clothes which is crazy I can't believe I've done that So today is officially the first day of the Finders Keepers Market. Um, I'm very excited. I finished as much stock as I possibly could last night. Um, I ended up counting everything that I made and I made 50 pieces, which is crazy. Anyway, that was this portion of the video, or maybe this will be two parts. I'm not sure. I'm going to start the second part of this um, Finders Keepers vlog video now which is basically just setting up and then having the actual days there and just seeing how everything goes. Okay, what goes first? I'm not hitting the bottom of it. <laughs> ignore the zits on my face so it's actually a few days after the finest keepers market has finished i had a really good time it was a really great experience um but i think i put in a lot of effort for not a lot of great return friday and saturday were pretty good um i got like halfway to my goal for saturday like the amount that i wanted to make on saturday um and then sunday was father's day and i think that really affected like the amount of people that ended up coming. I spoke to a lot of other stall holders and they all said the same thing for like the weekend that it was just so much quieter than what they had expected. So yeah, it was just a bit disappointing not kind of hitting the mark in sales wise. Just to put this into perspective, the stall fee is just under two grand for a three by two meter. When I do other markets, they're normally between 50 to $100. So to just be shy of reaching my stall fee is really underwhelming and also the fact that I've paid basically that same amount in fabric, in supplies like my racks and everything like that, not to mention um, fuel to drive down there, accommodation. So yeah, it was just a little bit disappointing. I thought that I would make a lot more than what I did, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, it was good because I definitely got my name out there. I had a lot more um, customers come up to me or a lot more people reach out to me. Um, I've had a lot more followers from it, which is really good. Yeah, I was just kind of, I don't know, I thought that I would make a lot more than what I did. And that's the only downside to it um, because obviously I wanted my brand to grow from this. I wanted to be hitting a lot more customers, reaching a lot more people, which it did, but not to the amount that I thought it would. Hello, little mittens. What are you doing? <laughs> this is the baby. 
so will I do it again? I don't know, maybe. Um, I think me, along with a lot of other people that I spoke to, um, said that this is their first time doing it, so they didn't really know what to expect. Um, and I kind of had a higher expectation for what would um, happen with it and what would come out of it. It was definitely great. I definitely loved the market. I loved that it was indoors. I loved that it was over three days, like as tiring as it was, it was definitely really nice to have that as a change. And the whole vibe of the Finders Keepers market is just really great in general. I definitely think that my aesthetic and like my beachy kind of neutral toned vibe for my brand is a lot different to a lot of the people that I saw there. Like everyone was very colorful and very quirky looking and very like fun and like, yeah, like very out there. And my brand's very like neutral tone. Not that there's anything wrong with either of those, but I just think that my target market or target audience um, wasn't there. That's just some of the outtakes from it. Um, it was definitely a great market. I feel like if you are a small business that sells maybe like smaller products, like if you sold jewelry or if you sold clay, those types of things, then I think that you would do really great at this market. So yeah, that was just a few of the factors that I think led into it. Obviously the biggest one was having it on Father's Day. There was just honestly no one. Friday I thought it was quiet and then Sunday came around and it was just dead. Like there was probably one person coming into the stalls every 20 minutes, whereas on Saturday it was like every two minutes. Anyway, that's enough from me from today. I have a busy few couple of weeks and months coming up. I have obviously the markets as usual, and then I'm also planning on doing some behind the scenes of my next collection that I'm going to be working on and coming out with. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna be start of November um, that I'll be releasing it. So stay tuned for that. I'll be filming hopefully a lot of behind the scenes videos on here and TikTok and Instagram and everything. Don't forget to follow In May on Instagram and TikTok and obviously subscribe to here to see more behind the scenes videos. Thanks guys.